That's cool. So, okay, One so. Tech. Hello and welcome to the first ever after show for the Safe Sci-Fi podcast, where we talk Prometheus versus NX01. Ooh, um, you're using a Nerf CS. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's actually my Terra Nova gear that they're wearing. Yeah, is it? Yeah, so that's I've got five full sets of that gear. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, uh, sorry, we're looking at some images I took from the Supernova. So anyway, so. I'm working on a video series. There's a link in the video description for those who want to check it out, uh, for the preview anyway. Um, and what we're doing is we're putting two different sci-fi ships against each other. The first one is Prometheus from SG-1 versus the NX-01 from Star Trek Enterprise. So I know we've got some Star Trek fannies on here, and I know I've got at least one person who likes Stargate on here. So <laughs> let's just open it to the panel and see who do we think would win, the NX-01 or... Prometheus. Hey, I'm like our first. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one versus Prometheus. I'll take the promy. Promy. The, the the flying space dongle. <laughs> Pretty much is what yeah. it looks like. Yeah. It's, 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 it's better that than the cat's wet dream. <laughs> oh, oh. Leave that alone. Yeah, yep. and I am a Trekkie, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going, pro I'm going probably as well. Yeah. I don't see it going Only because I've actually seen footage of what's going to happen. Yeah, the, so Stuart already knows the outcome because he's been in on so writing the I. script. So, yeah. No. So, you, no, mean, you mean the ship that's got the. Sorry, just on Prometheus. You mean the one that's got the, like, the big. Um, one that takes it off the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the one from the Battle of Antarctica. Yeah, uh, yeah. That. So it's got like the four, the four engine thing that we sell. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. yeah. Versus the Star Trek. Oh, big ass. Yeah, the NX01. Big ass wings with I the uh, fighter base. I need to see. I need um, to see from a side view. Okay, oh, yeah. give me two seconds and I'll give you a picture. <sighs> I'm just trying to Google. Okay, first picture scanned. Let's do the next one. Okay, so that's the NX01. And. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Yep. And this Flying is. The Prometheus. Whoops. Copied the wrong thing. Uh -huh. Don't want you, don't want you. You I want. There we go. That is Prometheus, is the one I just linked. There's actually one of my pictures is still going up hilariously. I, I actually got two NX01 links. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Came NX, yeah. Yeah, it did. That's, that's, what the hell? Really? Mine, mine load up for Prometheus? <laughs> Check it. No, no, came up two NX01s. Yeah. Hmm. That's odd. Extremely. Um, just whack that into Google. Whack this into Google Images, and it comes up. That'll. That'll right. have to sort of do you. I don't know why that didn't work properly. Um. Uh, see yeah. How it ends. Yeah. They do it every time. It's 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 the gold. Oh, that one? Seriously, yeah, that ship? That thing. That's Prometheus. Uh, so, that's Prometheus. So, that one versus uh, I'd have the to NX-01. I'd have to go the NX-01. Seriously. This thing, this thing looks like a trash compactor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now just flip the ship upside down and tell me that doesn't look like a dick. Hang on, I'm turning my head upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Like it, uh, it's just got that sort of one of those shapes where it's just like, wow. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I've got this the wrong way round. Yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to. <laughs> if you had heard what you just said. What what has been seen said, cannot be unseen. It's the wrong way round. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, that's the way it's got to sit. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to go the NX01. Yeah. So, well, I'm not going to ruin who's going to... Whoa, what the oh. hell is that? 
I'm not going to ruin who wins it and who loses. Um, even though there's these two already have. Um, I have not said a word. I, not you, Amy. Amy, you're innocent for once. Oh, here's a question. I haven't said what, anything what either. Sort of, so what sort of I, engine does the NX? Does I just the said Prometheus, I know what happened, so they're uh, actually from, spoiled. From, from, Prometheus does the has an ion drive and it can actually move. Well, put it this way: Prometheus is faster, but mm -hmm. the NX01 turns tighter. Yeah. Prometheus um, has substantially better defenses, like on a scale that's almost impossible, versus mm -hmm. the NX01's defenses. But the, the exact opposite is true for the weapons. Prometheus's weapons are railguns and missiles. Antiquated tech compared to the NX01. The NX01 can shoot the missiles down, and as long as the armor plating's up, the railgun will do nothing. Mm. Um, but if the downside is if Prometheus hits the NX01 with a Nequadra enhanced nuke, that's nothing that the NX01 can survive. So. So here's a question Does the Prometheus have forward shields? Yes. Prometheus has full solid shields. But it can only shoot in one direction. Um, it can shoot missiles in one direction, but it can shoot rail guns all around it in all directions. Okay, but which way do the nukes go? Forwards. If, so the, NX01 go, stays, if the NX01 stays behind Prometheus, it's then cooking up gas. it can win. We've yeah. already done. We've actually done the simulated battle already between the two ships, between yeah. me and my housemate. I was in control of the NX01, and I was using sweeping attacks, so moving in from behind, hitting and running. Yeah. Um, whereas he was using Prometheus' st standard style, which is effectively sitting still and letting the enemy come to you and then hitting them when they get close yeah. enough. Yeah. And, yeah, I won't tell so you what you... happened, but it, it yeah. didn't end well. <laughs> yeah. It was surprisingly one-sided, put it that way. Yeah. Um, so, but what we did was we... I made a mod years ago called Sci-Fi at War, and we actually used that as the core for the battle scenes. So oh, okay. Just, so, the, we'll have... One computer is recording it, because the game itself, Empire at War, has this battle cam mode where it sort of film... sort of has this camera that flies around the ships as if it was in, like, a movie or something. And um, so it's playing as a sort of a third player, which doesn't have anything to do. It just sort of films. And while me and him control a ship, uh, ship each, and we sort of do the battle how we sort of think it would play out. And, yeah, it's... It's a lot of fun. It's, it's it's a lot harder than you think. But oh, cool. the thing that really killed us was doing the research and getting all the proper specs and making yeah. sure it was all sort of set up so the way that it should be. So I, I want to see the Galactic here under Millennium Falcon. Yeah, that would end badly for the Falcon. It really would. I actually, you know, I, I have an original... You're going to hate this. So I, I, I have an original Millennium Falcon I bought for 20 bucks at a garage sale. So. Oh, wow. I've got an original Power Rangers Megazord that I bought at a garage sale for 30 yeah. bucks. that's in good condition. That's about as close as I can get to that story. I, 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 went, <laughs> I, I went to get some Nerf guns, and my the lady said to me, um, did your son like spaceships? And I went, oh, yeah. And she said, well, you can have this for 20 bucks." And then I looked down, and she said, oh, is this one any good? And I looked at it, and I was like, Shut. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, he'll like that. <laughs> and so, and it's, I'm sorry, you're like, keep your mouth yeah. shut. It's yeah. like, shut up, Scott. And meanwhile, it's sitting in the office hanging from the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was pretty happy. I was like, so, uh, I, I wish I had some original stuff. Sorry? I wish I had like some original stuff. Yeah. My mum's got like a ton of original old toys. Uh, like I could go into her room, and I could just, I, I could find something randomly. Be or it'd be just crazy. No. Yeah, if if you can hear her, she said um she's got um some original HR Puff and stuff toys. Oh my god, Witchy Poo! Pardon? She'll she'll know what that is. Just say to her, say, say Scott said, oh Witchy Poo. <laughs> Someone said Witchy Poo. <laughs> she has a big <laughs> ring. She has a very big ring. <laughs> yeah, my my son, I tried to get him. Yeah. Have you ever seen HR Puff and stuff? I love. I grew up watching HR Puff uh, and stuff. Oh, HR uh, like... Puff and stuff. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I remember the theme song. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I so bad. Yeah. 
Anyway, I think um, I've got to head off, so we're going to have to sort of... No worries. Wrap That's up, awesome. wrap up, wrap up the show, so. Give me two seconds. I've just got to 1, scan one more photo and I'll share it to you all. Sounds good. Um, so we'll catch you guys in the podcast next week. As always, the conversation continues on facebook.com slash save sci-fi and on our YouTube channel where you can find all of these podcasts. We are still trying to sort out our issue with iTunes. Unfortunately, it's proving to be more of a pain in the butt than we hoped. What's going as on? As soon as we can get the iTunes updated, we'll we'll get right on it and let you guys know. So, until then, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. May force be with you. Give me two seconds, and I'll share all the um the pictures, the pictures.